The Glens of Antrim in Northern Ireland. This is the coastal village of Cushendall, about an hour's drive north of Belfast. A quiet place, loved by locals and tourists alike. But there's a threat to peace here. The Grey Squirrel. Cushendall has declared war on the species. The locals want to catch every last one of them. In people's gardens who are growing soft fruits like strawberries, uh, they go there just a pest. Um, they destroy bird feeders and deprive the bird of the, the nuts that are out there for them. So all round, uh, they just don't fit in in our society here. Joe Dowdle is Cushendall's chief squirrel hunter. He's on patrol round the village. The grey peril has spread from the south. The glens of Antrim around Cushendall just weren't high enough to keep the squirrels out. We are trying to establish a buffer zone in different areas where we have friendly farmers and uh, they report sightings of grey squirrels. We're endangered at the moment as Ballycastle in the north, there's grey squirrels coming in on Glen Shesk. Um, from the west, uh, Ballamoney and Ballamina, where squirrels are going down river valleys. The anti-grey squirrel group meets once a week. They build feeders, not for the grey squirrels, but for the native red squirrels. The North American intruders are slowly forcing out the red ones. The grey squirrel, you see, will eat the food of the, the red squirrel, but will then pass on a, a germ, a pox to it, which inevitably kills the red squirrel. I've kind of an interest in red squirrels, and, uh, you know, I would like to see them. I, I think they're a great thing to have, and I would like to see them survive. Cushendall's remaining red squirrels lead a sheltered life. The activists know almost every one of them. A camera fitted with a motion sensor records squirrel activity. But what's this? Uh, there's one of both the red and the grey using that feeder. So that... Uh, makes us aware that there is still a grey down in this uh, feeding area, so trapping will have to be, will be carried out. But what then? The locals are divided about what to do with the captured animals. Well, you can't kill animals because another species... You can't really do that, can you? You can, yes. Can you trap yes. them? Oh, you can yeah, yeah, you call... Uh, when you have too many of our call species, them. yes, you call them. Joe and Daniel have little sympathy for the grey squirrels. When someone reports a grey squirrel to the hotline, they set off to check the traps set up around the area. If you're dealing with uh, the likes of a grey squirrel, you would, of course, uh, when you go to work out, would wear protective gloves, right? They can be quite nasty when they're trapped. But when we go to remove a trap from an area, we would take a bag such as this and the trap would fit into the bag. And it would be covered up and the animal would quieten down in the dark and then it would be brought to an area where we would then dispatch it. It doesn't always work out. The trap was empty this time. In the fight man against squirrel, the squirrel won this round. It seems the grey squirrel is a little tougher than it looks. Or maybe there are just more of them. They certainly seemed determined to lay claim to Cushendall, despite the rear guard action by the locals.